Oh, come back. Might as well at least acknowledge that silver spatula that we got last time. That's got a hula hop that's nowhere near as good. That one. Elmer Sirlo hula hop. There is a finite number, I think, of, of different kinds of cards in this game. So there's one hula hop that has one set of stats, another hula hop that has another set of stats. So especially here, it's just a kind of not as so it's just just a lesser silver spat or it's just a lesser golden spatula really. Costs less, does less damage, and not much less damage, and has less range. Not that remarkable. I think I both the jellyfish in one go, actually, never mind. I used to be able to take on two enemies in one turn. Just usually I have to hit them twice. Oh man, those red ones have serious range. I remember right, they can hit from pretty far away, too. This is just. I really wish that just did 5 more damage. I think it actually took from here. That wasn't very useful. But never mind. It absolutely was. Good job. The reward is death. Amazing. These guys are gonna be able to hit me though. I don't think they both attack me. They could. Oh, okay. I can't hit any of them from here. I, mean, I actually can't hit anyone from here. That's. An issue. Did not expect that problem. Okay. Not thinking anyone can hit me if I'm down here. <laughs> They're trying. tried, but they just didn't. Oh, I got the jellyfish. Oh, I need 30. Hmm, I can actually hit the other jellyfish this turn. That's annoying. Uh, in that case, I might actually just want to... Ah, that was probably not the right order. Whoops. Oh, never mind. That worked out fine. Patrick can't reach up there. Right? Oh! So if somebody... Oh, so can, you can attack down but not up, I guess is the idea. Huh. That's interesting. Yes, these guys can all get one shot from here. Should I 
jellyfish versus jellyfish. So it feels ridiculous how much I can do in one turn compared to my opponents. I, I'm just running circles around them, ruining them in all sorts of ways. Uh, can I actually touch you if you're right there? Maybe if I go on stairs, I can attack you? Yes. Okay, so if you're on stairs, you can attack in both directions. I think stairs are considered high ground, basically. I think. Punch that jellyfish. Boom. Take that, nature. Oh, look at you. I think you can hit me from there, but... Lots of enemies here, geez. I can't take you out in one hit, can I? No. I'm still tempted to hit you anyways. Nothing else has the range to hit him though. I have any use for those mostly because I don't use consumable cards, but why do they sometimes m use their movement ability but not actually move? Screeching. Snails, these guys have really long movement ranges and attack ranges, which I have a hard time remembering. So I don't know why something that seems like a melee attack hits at a range like that, but whatever. Jog. Still worse than what I have, so I have pretty darn optimized movement cards, so it's pretty hard to find anything better. Just walk past this and then hit it. The other side, but whatever. Oh. What? What can I not get over there? You can get over there somehow, can't you? Usually you can always reach the different. barrels and whatnot. Did I just not go up at the very beginning when I should have? It's possible. So I was making a journey. Oh, I never went up on top of here. Weird. 
Why, why can't spatula reach there, but jellyfish can? How does this work? I got a lot of health. <laughs> why can't my other attack hit you? At least like fight back or something. Just stuck in the corner there. <laughs> that the yellow jellyfish always give me yellow sponge. That's not very useful. That is so strange. Now, at least I happen to have an attack at this. As weirdly specific as it seems to be. Because my bigger range attack cannot reach that. Let's see how that compares to the other reflex for attack. Anything fun up here? Nope. I'm not having fun up here. was the place to go. Nope. Okay, so now I can't tell if this is a deliberate thing or not, because only sometimes once I defeat all the enemies will I no longer have to sit through enemy turns, which is weird. Because you would think they would do that consistently. Like, that, sound, that seems like a deliberate feature aside from <laughs> the infinite shield thing. I expect not to be able to walk on that crack there, that is so strange. Yeah, in most cases you can walk under corners. I don't know. I'm pretty sure there have been lots and lots of cases where I've defeated every enemy and opened every barrel and all that. Barrels, I believe, in game are considered enemies. Where I've done all that. And yet I still didn't get this weird, like, free mode where enemies don't have turns anymore. Whatever. That took a while. Um, last episode was a little long anyway, so we should probably call it this for today. I was curious about the other Reef Blaster attack. Oh, it is cheaper. Golden Spatula doesn't even do that much damage. So it has bigger... It only does half as much damage as Golden Spatula, but... More range... Costs a lot less. Yeah, I think I'll go with it. I mean, Golden Spatula has, like... Battle for Inky Bottom cred, but... I don't know. Anyways, next time. Dutchman. Mm -hmm. May or may not be Dutch.